Hey guys, welcome to Mo Deer Outdoors. We welcome you if you've never uh, been with our channel. I invite you to subscribe and uh, hit that like button like everybody else says. But I just got a little t uh, technique here going on that I, I think it might help some of you that are deer hunters for sure or maybe somebody giving you a venison or something like that. But this is something I haven't knew for about, I guess, two years now. And we were having problems. We put the, uh, this is the ground venison, been aged and everything. We were putting our beef fat or tallow inside of this meat and vacuum sealing it up and putting it in the freezer. Well, sometimes I'd go in there after four or five, six months, and I knew it wasn't my meat because the meat has been aged out. Nothing wrong with the meat at all. It had a good taste to it. But when I'd go and thaw it up, it'd have like this old taste to it of some kind, you know. And come to find out, it's your beef fat. It's, if you're using beef fat or tallow or anything in your venison, and putting it in the freezer and you're not eating it, we'll say within uh, three to four months. I mean, it's, it's just like hamburger meat then that you go and get at the store. You know, if you get an old hamburger meat out, it'll have that old taste to it. So I actually got this tip from a comment one time off of some video I was watching and a guy said, well, it's your, it's your fat meat that's going bad. It's not your, it's not your venison. So I, I thought about it and I thought, yeah, he's probably right. And so what I started doing, and it has worked perfect, um, I started just vacuum sealing mine just with no fat in it. Once I get it to where it's the taste is like I like it out of my walk-in cooler, I'll just grinding it up, and I'm putting it in the vacuum seal bag. And, uh, of course, we wrap it up in the plastic first and then um, meat paper and then vacuum seal it. So we do three coatings on it. Uh, because we we have several deer gave to us a lot of times and and then of course we we shoot a couple two or three here and there and stuff but no one here me and my wife so we have a lot of a deer meat stays in the freezer for quite a while and that's another tip if you are having problems with your venison going bad or something uh triple wrap it if you've got a vacuum sealer and if you ain't got a vacuum sealer uh, that plastic and that white paper works pretty good. I mean, you wrap it up in saran wrap and put the uh, paper over it and tape it up good. And um, it'll keep for quite some time like that. But the vacuum sealer on top of it, man, I, don't, I don't know how many years actually to keep. We've, we've got some out now two years and and it, it tastes just like it did the day I put it in there. But uh, that's the deal. Uh, take you, um, your venison and I put it straight in the freezer with no fat in it. And a lot of people don't add fat to it anyway. And we don't sometimes, you don't have to. If it's good tasting venison, uh, you can actually cook it just like that. And uh, maybe add you a little bit of olive oil or something, you know, just to cook it in and stuff like that. But what I'm doing now is actually, this is tilo I buy. And uh, I take it and uh, just grind it up and mix it in with it. And we put it in the microwave like this, put a piece of plastic over it. In about four or five minutes, it's me to be done. And uh, so what I'm doing, I'm making um, manwich, some like sloppy joe type stuff out of this. And we're gonna take uh, some bell peppers and onion and mix right on in here with this meat, just like this. I'm gonna stir it up pretty good, incorporate it. Now this meat's not brown all the way. I just thawed it up out of the freezer and I put it through this Ninja and that pretty much pulverizes, even though it's already ground. This, this really does an extra good when you're making tacos or, or anything like that to, to run it through that. But at this point, I'm gonna get a piece of plastic, put it over top of here, put it in the microwave in about four or five minutes, it'll be done. But what I want to share with you Basically on this video, if you're having a problem with your deer meat tasting bad, getting it out of the freezer and it wasn't like that when you put it in there, it's more than likely your beef fat or even your pork fat, if you're having pork fat put in it at your processor, um, the ideal is don't put the fat in it. If it's gonna be in the freezer for quite some time, 
uh, just buy you some fat somewhere else and mix it as you cooking it like I'm doing and then put it in there if you like it like that. But that's the tip of the day. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me on Mo Deer's Outdoors. And remember, there's Mo Deer always outdoors.